The multi-billion dollar upcoming railway for Olympics project will shock you as Southeast Queensland's population approaches 5 million in the next decade and Brisbane prepares to become the 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games host city. Connectivity across the region becomes critical and this multi-billion dollar railway project proves just that. And it's just the beginning. Dubbed the Cross River Rail, the project will deliver a once in a generation city shaping project facilitating urban regeneration at a scale Brisbane has not seen before. The impact of the rail network expansion will redefine how the people of Brisbane and Southeast Queensland move through the region with a higher frequency, increased capacity, and an experience designed for an inclusive subtropical city. The design and construction. The 10.2 kilometer Cross River Rail project includes four new underground stations and precincts, Roma Street, Albert Street, Wulungaba and Bago Road, and eight existing surface station upgrades and expansions, including Exhibition Station and the Dutton Park to Salisbury Line. The nearly six kilometers of twin tunnels under the Brisbane River and city center will be a welcome expansion of the single rail bridge crossing and two central city stations. The people, history, and culture of this subtropical Australian region are front and center of the Cross River Rail experience. The warm and sunny climate and outdoor lifestyle of Brisbane and Gold Coast are echoed in the shady and inviting station precincts as much as the light shafts that illuminate station concourses. Brisbane's proud indigenous history comes alive in an extensive First Nations art program embedded in the visual identity of stations and precincts. Designing for an inclusive, dignified, and intuitive urban transport experience is central to the seamless transition from character neighborhoods through the bustling city center and beyond. The station at Roma Street will become the state's most significant transport interchange like a Grand Central connecting passengers with a range of suburban, regional, and interstate bus and rail services. The new station entry and plaza returns civic grandeur to the life of the street and restores sight lines to the historic 1873 Roma Street Station building. The plaza will come to life as a destination and gathering place during citywide events and festivals, the upcoming Olympics included. Then there is the Albert Street. The new Albert Street Station will be the first train station in the city center in more than 120 years. Its dramatic, cantilevered entrance canopy will be a new Brisbane landmark, while its shady, landscaped forecourt will shelter and attract public events like performances or pop-ups. A commitment to removing cars from two city blocks in favor of a vibrant public realm strengthens the precinct's green spine, linking Roma Street parklands to the city botanic gardens with shady and pedestrian-friendly streets. The project plan also has room for Wulungaba, also called the Olympic Station. Wulungaba Station will provide the famous Gaba Stadium with a train connection for the first time, facilitating the fluid movement of passengers during peak events like the 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games opening ceremonies. As a pavilion in the park, the station gives alighting passengers a direct view of the stadium and fosters the big game buildup as commuters make the station to stadium journey on foot. But we all know such a massive rail project cannot be complete without a commuter connector, right? And that's where Bago Road comes in. Bago Road Station will take train passengers underground to improve community connections at street level around the PA Hospital and Bago Road Urban Village. This will enable Brisbane's Knowledge Corridor to connect to the city from the south. Passengers will travel from the Gold Coast in the south and Cleveland in the east to South Bank and Brisbane CBD and beyond to the north through this complex underground infrastructure junction. Above ground, a new pedestrian bridge will stitch together rail, bus, and active transportation. Above ground stations. This project is massive, with a handful of above ground stations littered along its stretch, one being Exhibition Station, aptly christened a nod to Brisbane's showground history. Why, you may ask? The design of the exhibition station captures the spirit of the adjacent Brisbane landmark, the John McDonald Stand. The new architecture references the pavilion roof, column structure, and grounded brick base of the historic grandstand, translating these into contemporary canopy forms and sunlit commuter platforms. The extensive station upgrade will transform the experience of arriving at Brisbane's agricultural showground 
from an annual event to a daily occurrence, providing a new stop-and-go service for a key growth area of Brisbane. Then there is Dutton Park to Salisbury Line. Seven station expansions and upgrades between Dutton Park and Salisbury will make train travel between Brisbane and Gold Coast more inclusive, frequent, and comfortable. Individual stations are designed with a sensitivity to the scale and character of their surroundings and the needs of local communities to ensure safer and better connected neighborhoods. Commuters with additional access requirements, including vision, hearing, and mobility challenges, have been consulted and accommodated through an extensive user engagement process championed by the approach. Nothing about us without us. Quite considerate, don't you think? Project background. Most of the new rail infrastructure projects in southeast Queensland in the past two decades have been concentrated on improving connections to the outer suburbs of Brisbane. Some of the major projects include the Redcliffe Peninsula Line, formerly known as Morton Bay Rail Link, the Springfield Line, and the extension of the Gold Coast Line to Varsity Lakes. No major rail infrastructure investment has been made in inner-city Brisbane or river crossings since 1996, which has resulted in significant pressure on the congested inner-city network. In addition, the forecast population and employment growth for the region are anticipated to lead to increased private vehicle and public transport congestion. With just one rail connection across the Brisbane River, it became difficult to address future growth. That's when the Queensland government decided to revitalize and transform the Southeast Queensland Public Transport Network, starting with the construction of Cross River Rail, which is designed to provide superior inner city capacity and connectivity to the north and south. Since 2008, the Australian government has been conducting several studies to assess the feasibility of a range of transport solutions, including trams, augmented busways, a metro system, and heavy rail connections of different lengths. It initially proposed an 18-kilometer link for the Cross River Rail project from Bowen Hills to Salisbury, which provides connectivity only to the south and leaves the northern suburbs with minimal benefits at a significant cost of more than a billion dollars. It was later modified to ensure the new infrastructure would be at the heart of the rail network, connecting the northern and southern lines. The Challenges the Cross River Rail project aimed to alleviate congestion in Brisbane's metro transport system and improve transportation for the growing population. But like any other mega project, it's easier said than done. In the beginning, the project faced numerous obstacles due to limited space. The site was incredibly confined and congested, and the construction sequencing was complex with the need for precision, efficiency, and safety. Kenny Constructions, the civil engineering contractor, needed to install 59 concrete trusses weighing up to 70 tons each, deep within the underground station cavern. Overcoming challenges such as restricted headroom and a few millimeters of clearance on either side of the trusses was critical, all while completing the process in the shortest possible time and with minimum disruptions for the wider site. And to make it worse, the use of cranes was not feasible so the contractors embraced the challenge by devising an ingenious solution. They proposed a custom packing structure positioned on self-propelled modular trailers, SPMTs in construction terms, which enabled the transportation and installation of up to four trusses simultaneously, significantly accelerating the overall process. To validate the solution, the team assembled the packing structure and transport configuration in their nearby yard, conducting a series of dry runs. After thorough preparation and on-site rehearsals, the actual operations commenced. The customer's tower crane lowered the trusses onto the packing structure before they were delicately maneuvered through the confined cavern. The hydraulic suspension and electrical multi-steering system of the SPMTs enabled them to position the trusses carefully in their designated positions. The operation's most challenging aspect was the limited clearance. Each of the trusses had a span of 17.6 meters, leaving just 100 millimeters on either side, a little more than the width of a credit card. Yet the first set of trusses, with a combined weight of 193 tons, had to travel to the very far end of the station cavern, a distance of 150 meters, the length of three Olympic-sized swimming pools. In the first phase, 55 trusses weighing 48.3 tons each were installed, followed by four extra-large trusses weighing 70 tons each in the second phase. Yet, as part of the pre-planning operation, the contractors ensured that the same configuration could be used for both phases, bringing further time savings. Thanks to meticulous planning, specialized equipment, and expert execution, the entire operation proceeded smoothly. The Benefits 
The project is providing a significant boost to the state's economy, with more than 1,500 Queensland subcontractors and suppliers benefiting from the transformational project so far. Cross River Rail injects around $70 million annually into the economy, around 90% of which goes to Queensland-based suppliers. So far, more than 1,500 Queensland-based companies have been used to build Cross River Rail. Civil construction company FormCon is just one example of the many Queensland subcontractors and suppliers to benefit so far. The Yatala-based company, whose previous work on the project has included the tunnel portals, where trains enter and exit the twin tunnels, and station upgrades, is currently completing the concrete and reinforcement works on the new exhibition station. So far, the FormCon team, consisting of about 30 crew members, including one apprentice and three trainees, has completed about 3,700 cubic meters of the roughly 5,700 cubic meters of concrete for the new station, as well as 1,000 tons of approximately 1,350 tons of steel reinforcement. At its peak, the Cross River Rail is expected to create 7,700 construction jobs throughout southeast Queensland. The funding, the Queensland government is going it alone to deliver the new rail network, with the federal government committing just $10 million to the project. Funding of $1.95 billion was announced as part of the 2017-18 Queensland budget, adding in the government's $800 million in principal commitment in June 2016. Soon after, the state government followed up with a $50 million allocation towards scoping work and establishing the Cross River Rail Delivery Authority, CRRDA. The 2018-19 Queensland budget saw a further $914 million allocated towards the project in the forward estimates for the financial year 2021-22, taking total funding to $3.73 billion. Despite a few challenges here and there, the project remains on schedule, with the first trains expected to be running in 2024. So, this is an all-around future project, not only for Brisbane, but for Australia as a whole. Other cities across the world should be taking notes. And that's all from us today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click on the subscribe icon below. Also, give us a like, share the video, and remember to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Until next time, thank you for watching.